With the 50th anniversary of Earth Day celebrated this past week, I think this next presentation is a great way to show how our service can raise awareness of lions as, inter as environmental stewards. To tell us more about the Bags to Benches project, I'd like to welcome Lion Nick Heiser from Elkhorn, Wisconsin, United States. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my fellow young lions and seasons tuning in all over the world for this awesome symposium. I hope that you're enjoying it so far, and I implore you to take one thing away from today. One thing you can do, one thing you can change. I want you to write it down, stick it in a drawer, and read it every week. Are you on your way? Are you sticking to it? You see, we have a lot of free time now that we're home, and we have a lot of time away from our clubs. So when we get back to our first meeting, Will it be the same old, same old? Or will you have that idea ready with you, ready to go, and ready to make a change? You see, we can dream about change, and we can think about change. But until we talk and execute a plan, change is just an idea. So my name is Lyon Nickheiser. I hail from Elkhorn, Wisconsin, where I'm a four-year member of the Elkhorn Lions Club. I'm currently our first vice president. I am the Hunger and Humanitarian Chairman for our District 27A1 and I'm proud to serve on the Young Lions Task Force. There was a picture that had my beautiful family on it. Uh, in the center was my rock, my wife, Erin, uh, and our four children, Brody, who is 10, Brevin, who is six, and our twins, Maverick and Remington. They, they love Lions Club, especially my oldest, Brody, and they love helping us out with whatever sort of service projects we have going on at the time. Now, when you ask someone about Lions Club, they say, oh, the Lions? Yeah, they're the people who recycle the glasses, and that's true. We do that, and we are the Knights of the Blind, but what if we could add to that? What if we could have a service project that helped our environment that, everybody club, that every club could do? My Lions dream is when people say, oh, the Lions Club? Yeah, they collect the glasses, but they also collect plastic bags. Now, it may sound silly, but I hope after this presentation it makes sense. Next slide, please. Over 90% of the plastic bags that you put in your recycling bin to be recycled end up in the trash. Recycling facilities have different machines and sorters for all sorts of recyclable materials, except for plastic bags. Special gears separate flat items, such as paper and cardboard, from bottles and other containers. Air jets split lightweight bottles and cans away from glass, and electrically charged aluminum cans are repelled into their own stream while magnets pull out tin cans and other metals. And after a beam of infrared light detects up to seven different types of plastic material, the blast of air sends them on their separate ways. And the end result is huge bales of separated sorted materials, which are then sold to paper mills, metal foundries, and plastic makers. So what's the problem with plastic bags? Well, the first complication occurs at step one with single stream recycling where we throw all of our recyclables into one bin that goes into one truck that goes to the recycling center. Here, the bags get wet and dirty and too contaminated to sell. Second, there's no mechanical process to separate plastic bags at these recycling facilities. And one recycling industry representative said, there's not enough staff or money to help clean and dry these dirty bags. Instead, they either get tangled up in the sorting equipment or accidentally end up in the bales of separated paper. And if just one half of a percent of a bale is contaminated by other materials, it is, not be, it is not able to be sold to reuse companies. So in the end, most plastic bags are removed by hand and dropped into the trash, even if there's recyclables inside. So what can we do? How can we as lions spread awareness of this false idea of recycling plastic bags? How can we help? How can we serve? Next slide, please. In 2018, I was reading our Lions Club International magazine, and I came across this article, Bags to Benches. It was about the Paquistan Lions of Virginia and a lion named Taffy Faye. She, had, she was sitting on a bench, and she had three big bags of plastic next to her. This article was amazing, and I kept going back to it week after week. I found myself thinking about it all the time. So I did some research on plastic recycling, and I was shocked to learn what I just shared with you. I always thought I was doing a good thing by recycling my plastic bags. Well, this article is a game changer. As weeks turned into months, 
I still had it on my mind. I had to do something and I had to try it. I got all my ducks in a row. I planned this big speech, this hyped up speech to bring to my club. And they were on board with it as long as I agreed, as long as I agreed to head up the operation. Now this project is through the Trex company. And for those of you who do not know who Trex is, they are the leaders in, comp in composite decking. These boards are actually made out of recycled plastic and other materials. The, pl the project is simple. Step one, decide that you're gonna help change the world. Step two, go to the Trex website and apply for the program. You set a date you want to start your recycling, and you have six months to collect 500 pounds of plastic. Now, this project is available in both the United States and Canada. The plastic has to be weighed by you and your club and turned into designated grocery stores with a list that Trex provides you with. The plastic needs to be turned in in clear plastic bags. You drop it off at the store, and then you email Stephanie from Trex on what you have turned in and where. And when you've turned in all 500 pounds within the six months, the Trex company sends you a beautiful composite wood bench with the color of your choosing from their website. Next slide, please. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, hey, Nick, 500 pounds, that will take forever. And trust me, I thought that too, especially when I started by weighing the plastic bags under our sink. I thought I had a great start figuring we probably had like 20 pounds under our sink and it turns out we had like two and a half. My feelings of excitement quickly turned to fear and anxiety. What if I brought this awesome idea up to my club and I bombed? What if I, and if I fail at this, my club is not gonna take me seriously with the next project I bring up. So we took to Facebook and it was an instant hit. We had people dropping off bags, at our, plastic bags at our door. We had people who worked at businesses saving their plastic, and we had one awesome business that actually bagged up their plastic in clear plastic bags and dropped it off right at our doorstep. This project was supposed to take six months. The Elkhorn Lions Club did it in 59 days. This was my project, my footprint, my footprint that came from another lion's footprint. Our club has been able to do two benches this year. Next slide, please. So after we did our two benches, word got out and I went around and started talking to clubs in our district about this project. One club took it to a whole new level. Their town had a building that had burned down and that area had now become a park. The Waterford Lions of Wisconsin, who I presented this to, loved the idea and they took it full speed running. They decided they wanted benches for their park and they quickly realized they wanted and needed more benches for their park, but could only get two benches per year, no matter how quickly they collected the 500 pounds. So they decided to reach out to other groups in their community, such as the Cub Scouts, American Legion, Boy Scouts, their churches and other groups to get more benches for their park. Lion Daniel Marnie Elkins' favorite words in lionism is in partnership with. The Waterford Lions use their partnerships with others in their community to help reach a common goal and, and get their, help their community even faster. In a year, they went from only having two benches to, in their community to eight benches by partnering with other groups. Now that is footprints, making footprints, making footprints. Next slide, please. So I know you're super excited to bring this to your club. Let me give you a few helpful tips that I wish I had when I started. Number one, have your ducks in a row when you present to your club. Your club will be much more willing to get on board if they see your passion and see that you have a plan. Now this can go with any plan that you present to your club. And this plan should include the length of the project, how many lions it will take to complete this project and any cost that you may see. For this project, you'll need clear plastic bags and a scale. Number two, check with your city and your public works to see if they'll accept the benches and if so, what color they need to be before you order them. 
If the city won't accept them, check with your county public works. Other places that would also accept them are schools, nursing homes, retirement homes, and churches. Three, reach out to your business owners and your businesses in the surrounding industrial parks to see if they'll save their plastic for you. Provide them with a pickup date each week and provide them with the clear plastic bags to put the plastic in. And most of your weight will come from shrink wrap. That is the heaviest. To give you a reference, if you just did plastic bags, you would need over 40,500 bags to get 500 pounds. Step four, call the grocery stores on the list that Trex provides you with and tell them about this project. Stephanie from Trex will provide you with an email. In the email, she'll provide you a letter that you can give to the managers and owners explaining what this project is and how they can help. This is the hard part. Some companies are on this list but are not on board with helping us out, and there's many reasons for that. Some, they don't have the storage space for our plastic. They may not have enough people, or the truck that comes and pick up, picks up their plastic may not be big enough. But explain to them who we are and why we're doing this project and what happens if we do recycle, how we normally recycle our plastic bags and what happens to them. Organize it so you can drop off the plastic an hour before their truck is scheduled to come, or even when it comes, have your lions help load it for them. Number five, fill up a clear plastic bag full of plastic and weigh it a couple of times. The best way to do this, if you want to do this project, is to get a luggage scale. It's a little handheld scale with a hook. You can hook it right to your clear plastic bag and it'll weigh it right on there. Weigh it a couple of times so you get the exact reading and then write that poundage on the clear bag so you know how many pounds you have when you total it all together. Number six, only bring 50 to 80 pounds per visit to the store. Don't drop off 300 pounds at a time. Because if you do that, it might overtake their truck, and then they might not be as likely to help you out. Some trucks come two to five weeks, depending on the volume of the store and how quickly they go through plastic. Number seven, if you have a business that helps you donate or donates a lot of plastic to you, invite them to your ceremony when you have your bench placed. This will make them feel great and more likely to help you again in the future or possibly even extend your footprint as the business takes on the challenge themselves, like we had with one of our companies. Number eight, make sure you log how many pounds you have when you drop it off and make sure you email Stephanie with the exact location and what time you dropped it off at. And lastly, order plaques for your benches to let everyone know that the lines made this possible. Just little four by six plaques should suffice. We had a maid that said this bench was donated by the Elkhorn Lions Club in memory of George Paulson, in memory of Norm Heiser, and it's just nice to remember our fallen lions that are no longer with us. Next slide, please. I will leave you with this thought before any questions you may have. There are roughly 46,000 Lions Clubs. If every one of those 46,000 clubs did one bags to benches service project, in one year, 23 million pounds of plastic would be properly recycled and not thrown in our landfills. What a great footprint we could leave. Now let's take that a step further. What if each one of those clubs also partnered with two organizations as well? That would be 69 million pounds of plastic properly recycled in just one year. That's all it takes. One idea, one dream, one conversation and an execution of a plan to make a change. Your footprint can light the way for so many footprints to follow. And now is the time to start walking. Thank you. Thank you, Lion Nick. Uh, we do have a couple of quick questions for you or clarifications. Um, you had mentioned a log book. So are you self-certifying the weight and just documenting the day and time and location where you drop that off? Is that what Trex uses for you to accumulate your 500 pounds or is there anything else that might need to be done by the drop-off location? Nope. So all you have to do is weigh it and then log it and send it in an email to Stephanie on it. Obviously be honest about it because it goes in with the um, grocery stores plastic and they sometimes they get paid for their plastic so if you overestimate 
your amounts, you're taking away money from their business. So make sure you have it exact. And really, 500 pounds goes quick. If you, especially if you have companies with shrink wrap, it, it goes quite, quite quickly. That was that was the nature of the second question that we had. Is is you had mentioned being surprised that your plastic bag stash was 1.5 pounds, and I think we probably all have a collection of plastic bags. Um, but what happens if you don't reach 500 pounds in that six month window or the, the countdown clock that you have? Um, if if something happens and a club loses steam and you don't get that 500 pounds. Yeah, unfortunately, if you don't, I mean, Trex is still going to take your plastic that you've already donated, uh, but you just wouldn't receive the bench. And you can only do it once per six months. Whether you get the bench or not, you can only apply every six months, and then you have to wait until the exact six months date, and then you can reply, reapply again. All right. Thank you for the additional information, and thanks for sharing a project that really hits a trifecta uh, for us as lions. It helps the environment. It can be used to promote lionism, and it doesn't cost us anything. So I hope that's a, an activity that many of our clubs will look further into. Awesome. Thank you.